hurricane going on down here. Smoke mark, you ready for the smoke? Welcome back to Carl is on it. Today, we're gonna to be doing a video about what is it like to drive the 530D. Now, this car behind me, let's have a look. Now this car right here, the 530D, standard has 215 brake horsepower and also 500 newton meters of torque. This one has been stage one remap, so it now has 260 brake horsepower, 260 to 280. Um, and also 560 newton meters of torque now so this one of course is it's got the m sport packaging so hence why it's got the 19 inch black alloy wheels a few stickers add a bit of extra horsepower there so it has a full straight pipe it just looks absolutely gorgeous really. i just love those angel wing rear light it looks absolutely gorgeous check it out I think that's probably this this side is my favorite bit of the car i also like the front as well but the rear is just so beefy tinted windows so yeah let's uh have a sit inside and uh go for a drive in this beast so this is what it's like being inside here the full black leather it's bamboo off in sight with high gloss trim as well zf six-speed automatic transmission sport button as well okay, i drive system as well this is the cic system which is the most updated one anyway let's uh, start up this car well let's first of all wind the windows down so you can hear what it sounds like when we start it up i love the thing the thing is i love like the grumble of like a free cylinder a free, free cylinder a of a three liter straight six engine well straight six um V6, I just love the way it grumbles. Anyway, let's start this car up. So the keys, the keys inside. There we go, hit it up. It's very, very, very quiet. There's a lot of sound insulation all around the car. Now that's pretty much what you expect from a luxury um, sedan really. So this car's got a straight pipe and you can hear it when you put your foot down a lot. If, if you don't, it's a very nice and relaxed ride, but this is what it sounds like. The, end, the car turned a bit because of the weight of the engine, the cast iron engine. Wow, honestly, it sounds like a beast. Straight pipe as well. So, without further ado, people, let's get straight to the drive. So, people, initial thoughts already. It's very, this car is actually let's sleep. It's very, very, very comfortable. That's one thing I can already give it to you very very comfortable initially and it's even got the M Sport suspension which means it's lowered and it gives it more road presence as well and you actually would feel the road a lot more but with this car itself BMW have pretty much created an, the shock absorbers the way they absorb the bumps on the road is pretty good We're going around the corner so let's take this bend <laughs> oh my days the torque the torque is one thing I have to say about this particular car. This has got the Garrett's turbocharger. Oh my goodness. 560 newton meters of torque. It's not something to play about with. Hey! Oh my days. Stopping power as well. Very, very, very decent too. I'm gonna get to a stop here. The brakes. And that was me being light on the brakes. Decent brakes as well. Right on the bend here. I don't want to take this car too far, do you know what I mean? Because of course, it's a car that's going to be sold. Um, but I'm just trying to show you, you know, the features and how it's like to drive really, if you were to drive it. Honestly, from taking this car for the week, it's been a brilliant daily. Very, very, very nice. It can be quiet when you want it to be 
absolutely savage as well when he went to pizza the thick foot down here. <laughs> Two hands on the steel wheel, people. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! The torque is just instant. If I went the windows down, you probably get a better feel of the sound, what you're what I'm hearing right now from the straight pipe. The straight six diesel engine. Woo! Woo -hoo! It picks up so well and now we're in the country roads, let's go! Oh! I'm not even in sport mode as well. Hey! Woo -hoo! Oh my days, hopefully you guys can still hear me with the wind noise, but our two cars ahead of us right now, so we're going to take it easy and go back to the way the car drives. So right now I'm actually driving with um, sport mode off. I'm going to put my GoPro on my head in a moment and then you'll see what it's like from my view really. So yeah. Gonna switch in three, two, one. Wow, so we've just switched up people. This car is just it's so nice, you can just lean back and just cruise. Pretty much your head will be at the back of your seat when you put your foot down. That's how much torque it has, it's so snappy, especially when you put the sport mode on. Now we're in around. Ooh, this is a nice mini blacked out mini, he's even loaded as well. Hey, looking nice here even sport mode as well. The gear changes become much more snappy and much more quicker. So right now we're taking a roundabout. So I'll show you what it's like. Around the corners of a roundabout. Oish. Traction control, I don't want to turn that off just for the sake of this video. Hey, hey. But when you put your foot down, whoa! And then take it from here. Twerk, it just picks up. It's like a hurricane. Ah! Hey! Literally like a hurricane. Oh my days. It just takes, it's like a jet plane. It's like once you put your foot down, it's gone. Just like that. So, I'm telling you, I haven't even not even put sport mode on and I used to when I put it on oh my days you can really tell the difference with the the way the car just it just becomes another another level of an animal so we're gonna switch that on after we get past these three cars once they go by and then uh, once we're in the deeper country roads where it's nice and straight no vehicles around we can uh, give that a go so let's get it where are we going we always take the right, that's what we do. Hit that sport mode on, let's go. Woo! Jeez! The torque is so instant. Sport mode is just, whoa! It's now alive. The car is now officially alive. Woo! You've got a bend here. Hey, hey, take it easy. We don't want to be going crazy on bends at all. We only do it on the nice straight roads. It's nice and clear, like now. <laughs> oh my days! This car, hey! I have to, I really have to just catch my breath. I generally just have to catch my breath. Just the way it picks up, it generally just picks up. Low end, when you're around, it's only two. Honestly, don't underestimate the power of a diesel. To all the diesel heads, to you guys who love your diesel engines, I understand. <laughs> Woo! Okay. We need to spin it back around and uh, go from there, so. Woo! You can literally take the breath out of your mouth <laughs> what an experience right let's switch it up and uh, go back round let's go for part two sport mode on Whoa, hey, hey. take it easy yeah take it easy okay nice and clear let's go shifting the gears with the paddle shift as well back on sport mode let's go Oof. you can literally just feel how snappy it is when you shift it into sport mode the 
gear just go straight into place. When I say snap it, I don't mean as in it's like, hey, hey, it jerks you around. It's like, it's just quick. It just You just see it change very, very quickly. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay, I've got change. Woo! Instant. Very, very, very instant. Very instant changes. Hey, take it easy again. So, yeah. Even when you're driving fast as well, you don't feel the road. That's how comfortable it is. Another level of comfort. Even with the 19 inch alloy wheels and the M Sport suspension, you would think it'll be like a very rough ride. It's very, very, I have to tell you, generally, I'm not, I'm not even joking. If you were to sit inside where I'm sitting now, it's actually very comfortable. Very nice and comfortable. We're gonna go for the last run and then we're gonna talk about running costs. Let's go. Hey, are you ready guys? Oh my days, the night driving this is something else people. Are you ready for the smoke? Hey! Oh, we're not even on sport mode. A hurricane going on down here. Spot mode. You ready for the smoke? Ah! Jeez. Oh my days. This car was. No, 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 no. Diesel power, man. Diesel power. I'm telling you, people. We'll put it on sport mode in three, two, one. Oh my days, it's only a stage one map as well, a stage one map, 560 newton meters of torque, 560... Ah! Chase! No, 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 you're not ready for the smoke, man, you're not ready for it. Oh, 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 right, time to go. Woo! This car, I'm telling you people, it's an Hey, 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 please, hey, slow down, don't. Don't, don't go anywhere. I love how you can hear the turbos from the echo. When you when you turn sport mode on, you just hear the turbos. Oh, it's so nice. Look, it's like a nice, like you're whistling, whistling at a random lady on the street. Well, don't don't do that. Don't do it. Woo! The power when it's compared as well. When it's matched with the N-Sport suspension, you take a bend in. It just flows out nicely. Let's go! You're not ready for it! Ah! Hey! Oh my days, this car, yeah? You can bailey it, you can race it, you can take your kids out in it, you can do the family runs, you'll never be late for work, for school. You, you won't be late for anything at all, I'm telling you. Back into the seat. Oh my days. Oh, you see the turbo, this is the turbo. Woo, listen to that. Woo. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> You're not ready for this smoke, man. I'm telling you guys, I am telling you, the next owner on this car is going to, ah! If you've not driven a three litre, straight six turbo diesel engine with 560 newton meter of torque even 300 newton meter of torque this people is another level i'm not even joking i'm not even joking and the beautiful thing is you can take it to a higher level if you want to as well cast iron built engine one of the best engines being that ever made solid block now that is what you call a solid block like a toyota supra cast iron Honestly, people, right? Hey, I don't think I don't even want to give back my previous car. To be honest, if I'm being honest with you, oh, oh, it just hugs your stomach. It hugs your stomach so much once you put your foot in that accelerator pedal. Oh, it literally wins. It's like someone giving you an uppercut. 
you get an uppercut from, from Muhammad Ali if he's still doing boxing. Oh my days. You're not ready for the smoke, man. Nürburgring right now. Nürburgring, hey, hey, hey. We're on Autobahn. So, hey. Literally, this car, it, oh my days, people. Honestly, the next owner. <laughs> You're in for a treat. Big time. So, people, here's the 0 to 60 launch without any sport mode on. Also, this was just a gradual launch. It wasn't really a takeoff because I didn't want to put any wear in the clutch nor the gearbox as well. Also, the weather was bad too. It was raining that day. And also, as well, the boot was quite full with like recording equipment. But anyway, here's the 060. So, this is the same situation, but this time with sport mode on. Now, situation was wet road. Um, no launch control to, um, so we don't put wear in the clutch in the gearbox, and also the road is a bit wet as well. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Wow, that was with sport mode. My days. So people, let's run you through the running costs of this car. So, first of all, um, petrol, it's a three liter engine, three liter turbocharged, turbo diesel engine. Petrol, what am I saying petrol, eh? Diesel, you're paying for, um, it can take you, it gets around, I believe 37, 40 miles to the gallon, 35 to 40 miles to the gallon. Yeah, it's pretty much a very, very efficient engine, really, for a three-liter engine as well. It's pretty, you're getting pretty much good bang for your buck. It costs you around 50 pounds, and that can get you about 300 miles, 50 pounds, 50 to 55 pounds. Um, also, as well, insurance cost, if you're over 25, no um, claims or anything like that, you can get your insurance for about 800 pounds. So pretty much running costs in this car is pretty good um, servicing as well it ranges from 165 pounds to 300 pounds for a service in the car um, that depends of course what you need to do now this car itself pretty much service book it's pretty much done everything's even had um, you guys can see you guys can see that so uh, let me just try and see there we go so it's had a um, intake manifold, rings, the glow plugs, modules have been changed. Also the transmission has also been serviced as well. And also as well, the car has had a carbon clean too. So all the carbon's been removed out of the engine, which is pretty much like the sludge and whatever, nasty stuff that, you, that can build up in an engine over time. It's in 150,000 miles, but the car still runs like, pretty much like new. It's been looked after well. Um, what else can I say really? Um, yeah, I think with this engine particularly as well, the M57 engine, since it's made out of cast iron, it can take a lot of brake horsepower, it can take a lot of beating really. Um, that's just how durable the engine is. So an engine rebuild, you won't be looking for that anytime soon. It can go up to like 300,000 miles really. So as long as you look after the car, the car will look after you. So that's pretty much it really. It's pretty much aged well for itself. It's 2009, it's 11 years old, but the car has pretty much aged well. The seats as well, the condition of the seats still look very, very, very good. There's no cuts in the seats or anything like that. No cigarettes or anything like that. Brothers don't smoke, don't smoke. 
Um, yeah, the car is pretty much fresh. It's ready to go. Pretty much, you take this car, you're taking this for another 150,000 miles and you'll just happily enjoy it. So, yeah, people, that is pretty much the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. Next video we're going to be doing is... Hey, next video we're going to be doing is in the car with Carly so stay tuned for that people and then after that we're gonna go back onto my car which another mod has come which is gonna be oh my days people the iDrive controller hey it's gonna be yes and also the gearbox as well the, the transmission gear knob I've got a carbon fiber one so stay tuned for that people and I will see you soon peace